Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And in today's video, I've brought uh, another problem from Pathfinder. This is uh, current city uh, multiple choice questions, question number 8, that's chapter 13. So, uh, this is a rather simpler problem. It's based on application of Thevenin. So, without much ado, let's straight away get into the problem. So, here, let me read out the problem. Okay. A network shown in the figure consists of a battery and five unknown resistors. When an ideal ammeter is connected between terminals A and B, its reading is 4 amperes. So, we don't know the values of these resistors. And when we connect an ammeter across A and B, the reading is given as 4 ampere. Okay. When a resistance of 3 ohm is connected in series with the ammeter, its reading becomes 2 amperes. So, earlier it was 4 amperes. And then, after the resistor is connected in series with the ammeter, the reading becomes 2 amperes. Now the ammeter and resistance are disconnected and ideal voltmeter is connected between the terminals A and B. So then connect a voltmeter. What would be the voltmeter reading? That's what we have to find out. Okay. So uh, if you want, you can give it a try. I'll get into my solution right away. Let's see. Okay. So as I told you, it's based on a simple application of Thevenin's theorem. So uh, if you want a proof of Thevenin's theorem, I'll be giving you a link uh, to the proof that I've done in one of the videos in the description. You can have a look at that. I'm going to use Thevenin's theorem directly. So let uh, ETH be the Thevenin EMF and RTH be the Thevenin resistance between A and B. So these two points, I'm trying to Thevenize the rest of the circuits between points A and B. So then we can replace According to Thevenin's theorem, we can replace the entire circuit containing the resistors and battery by a single battery and a single resistance. Okay. So let's say ETH is the Thevenin uh, voltage and RTH is the Thevenin uh, uh, resistance between A and B. Let's say this is your point B. And in the first case, the current is given as 4 amperes. So based on this equivalent circuit, I can say that uh, now the current through this circuit must be E Thevenin divided by R Thevenin because emitter is ideal. So E Thevenin upon R Thevenin is 4 amperes as per the, as given in the question. You can see this is given as 4 amperes. Okay. Uh, oops. So this is given as 4 amperes. Okay. So I hope this equation is uh, clear. E Thevenin upon R Thevenin is 4 amperes. Now in the second case, a 3 ohm resistor was connected in series with the emitter. And in this case, the current was given as 2 amperes. So we can say that E Thevenin divided by 3, uh, uh, I mean, R Thevenin, I forgot to draw here. It should have been uh, R Thevenin here. So uh, 3 uh, E Thevenin divided by R Thevenin plus 3 ohm should be equal to 2 amperes. So that's what I've written. This is equal to uh, 2, not the equation number 2, but it is equal to 2. And this is also the equation number 2, okay. Now I have two unknowns, E Thevenin and R Thevenin, and I have two equations, so I can solve for both of them. If we solve, then we get R Thevenin as 3 ohm and E Thevenin as 12 volts. Now when we connect the voltmeter across uh, points A and B, so this one is point B, and if I connect the voltmeter like this, uh, I know that there should be no current flowing through it because voltmeter is ideal and has infinite uh, resistance. So uh, whatever is the voltage across of the battery, that must be the voltage across the ammeter as well because the current drop, potential drop across the Thevenin resistance must be zero because current drawn is zero. Okay. So our answer is 12 volts, which is option number, option C. Okay. So that was my analysis of the MCQ uh, um, problem 8 from Current Electricity from Pathfinder. Uh, hope you appreciated the analysis and if you did appreciate the analysis, please do, do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord or whatever medium you might be using for networking with them. And most importantly, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do new videos for all of you on a regular basis. And thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.